This is a really weird place to start our hitting today, but we have to go over the fact that when we're hitting, to be a great hitter, it's more than just mechanics, it's more than just strength and all the understanding of those things. It's also being able to read pitches and being able to read our pitcher. So number one, the first most important thing is the at bat starts basically on the bench. When you're watching this guy throw to other batters, seeing some of his tells, watching his release point, that advances into the hole when now you're getting yourself ready to hit, putting on all your stuff and you're getting ready to hit. And then from there we're getting on deck and this is all the process of watching this pitcher and seeing what are some of the things that we could pick out that's going to help us hit against this pitcher. So one of the things that's really important is most pitchers don't change their arm angles. Most will come from one consistent spot over and over again. And the only time they may change is because they have an inconsistency where, where they throw some of their different pitches and it'll create a weird tunneling and now it's easier to read those pitches. But if we're generally looking at the pitcher as a whole and waiting till he throws the baseball to locate the baseball, we're really impacting our timing or the ability or the amount of time that we have to hit. So one of the things we're going to work on and I highly recommend is while you're watching those different steps and the different steps of the dugout, in the hole, on deck and up to bat, is watching that release point. And now, if you have a pitcher with a consistent release point and you can just focus on where that ball is coming out of, now instead of having to wait for the ball to appear, all you're doing is focusing on the baseball. Now you're creating your focus. Instead of becoming a whole movement, movement, movement ball, you're only waiting for that ball. It allows you to respond easier to the pitches that are coming your way and pick up pitches a lot better, especially when you start to notice an inconsistency of where a release is based off of different pitches. So this is really, really helpful to being a great pitcher and it doesn't really take take a mechanical thing to change you to become better. It actually takes just knowing what to focus on and where to use your eyes. So try this in some BP and then try it in a game and I really hope this helps you become a better hitter because I believe it will. Good luck guys.